Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 30 minute chart of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair. Where the price action is like interrupting a bullish trend. And uh, it is currently entering a range. Okay, so this is the trend over here, the previous trend, and this is the current range of the price action, located somewhere between 0 0.6912 and 0 0.6890, 0 for example. 68.90. So this is how the range looks like. Furthermore, the interesting thing is that this range comes like a breakout uh, through the previous bullish trend of the price action. When we switch to the one hour chart and zoom in out a bit, we notice the, uh, the previous bearish trend, I mean, I apologize. We notice the previous bearish trend of the price action marked with the blue line over here. So when we zoom in, we see that the current price consolidation and the range gets the price action out of the trend. At the same time, uh, this is where the breakout uh, through the trend line comes from. Comes at. Here it is over here. And the most interesting thing is that the current price consolidation uh, resembles a well-known chart pattern, the double bottom chart pattern, which I'm currently marking with the orange lines on the chart. This is the first bottom over here, and the second bottom comes somewhere here, for example, a bit lower, a, a bit higher than the first bottom, which is a normal thing. Uh, Considering the structure of the pattern. Okay, we have one bottom, second bottom. And in this case, the trigger line of the pattern is located at one point uh, at 0 0.6912. I remind that uh, the trigger level of the pattern, of the double bottom pattern, is marked by the top, which goes between the two bottoms. The first bottom and the second bottom. So this is the top. For this reason, the upper level of our current consolidation and uh, horizontal price range, the upper level of this range is the trigger line of our pattern. <clears throat> so, if the price of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair breaks the upper level of the range, which is the trigger line of the double bottom pattern, we will have uh, sufficient reason to believe that the price of the forex pair will increase at least uh, with the size of the pattern. As you see, I measure the size of the pattern with this rectangle over here, and I apply it starting from the moment of the trigger line, where the potential breakout is expected to come. At. So the double bottom pattern is a famous reversal pattern. It has the potential to reverse the bearish trend and to start a fresh new bullish trend. Furthermore, the pattern is likely uh, to appear after trend breakout, like in our case, and it is likely to create horizontal price moves. All these factors I just named are all present on our chart. So there is no reason not to trade this pattern. So, if the price of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar, breaks the trigger line at 0 0.6912, I intend to buy the New Zealand dollar, American dollar forex pair, placing a stop loss order somewhere inside the range of the pattern, for example, below 
this candle over here since it's like a this is by the way a, a hammer reversal candle which is very likely to be the beginning of the bullish move we're looking for so we, we can use the bottom of this candle the lower candle wick to position our stop loss order uh, because after all this uh, is likely to be a bottom like a very well expressed bottom on the chart so we can use the lower candle wick of this candle to place our stop loss order and at the same time we will pursue a bullish run to the top of our target which was applied uh, by measuring the size of the double bottom part pattern the vertical distance between the the level of the two bottoms and the top between the two bottoms the level of the trigger line so i applied this target over here and now i will show you where approximately we will attempt to close our potential long trade for example at one point uh, 0 0.6933 0 0.6933 right over here okay now i suggest that we pause the video and i'll come back to you uh, to see if the price action has really confirmed the authenticity of the double bottom pattern by breaking its trigger line at 0 0.6912. Okay, guys, we're back to the video half an hour later to see that the price of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar, has hit the 0 0.6912 trigger line but did not manage to close candle above. However, the next 30 minute candle on the chart is currently above our 0 0.6912 uh, trigger line but and it is about to close in one minute so if things uh, stay like this uh, i intend to buy the new zealand dollar american dollar forex pair uh, due to the breakout through the trigger line meaning that a candle closed above the trigger line a 30 minute candle because we're using the 30 minute chart to measure our pattern and on the 30 minute chart we see no breakouts over here if we switch for example to the 15 minute chart we notice a break over here which means that the 15 minute chart is not a valid uh, measurement for our entry point on the chart uh, now i'm gonna prepare to buy 0 0.5 lots of the new zealand dollar, dollar american dollar for pair in the moment when a candle closes now here it is now i just opened my long trade which is uh right over here i'm in the market long on the new zealand dollar american dollar forex pair now let's place the stop loss order and the take profit order the stop loss should go, as I said, below this lower candle wick over here, somewhere near 0 0.6896, uh, for example. 68.96. And the take profit order should go at uh, 0 0.6933. 0 0.6933. Okay, this is the stop loss order. The take profit order is behind the line we placed over here okay now we're trading for this distance over here which equals approximately to uh, 11. about 11 pips which is a decent amount for our trade because now i'll tell you I will tell you how much do 11 pips take uh, in percentage. When we divide 11 pips, which is 0 0.0011, when we divide it with the current price uh, at our entry point, the, our entry point price at 0 
20, for example. 0.6920. Uh, we will get our percentage gain in case the trade is successful. So we are aiming for uh, 0.16%, which is a standard amount for a scalp trade. And uh, now I will pause the video one more time and I'll get back to the video when the price develops a bit further to see if our take profit order is going to be reached. Okay, guys, we're back uh, about four and a half hours later to see that the price of the New Zealand dollar, American dollar, Forex pair, uh, created a very sharp increase, uh, which uh, hit our take profit order and closed our trade on full profit. Um, I entered the market around uh, 0 0.6920, and my take profit order was placed at. 0.6933, uh, which means that I realized I I created a profit of 13 pips, and although this doesn't look like a very big amount, I remind that the price of the New Zealand dollar American dollar for pair is below one. It's uh, currently at 0 0.69 uh, 13, meaning that uh, our 13 pips profit takes approximately 0 0.16 percent which is a relatively decent amount for a scalp trade. So I entered at 0 0.6920. Uh, the trade was closed by my take profit order at 0 0.6933, the 13 pips profit. And at the same time, I placed a stop loss order at 0 0.6896 to protect my trade. Let's look at the 15 minute chart now. Very big candle uh, caused by economic events coming from the US, by the way. Normal thing. High volatility. The double bottom chart pattern marked with orange was fully completed. So I will extend uh, the line that was created by the second bottom in order to visualize the pattern in a better way. Here it is. I entered in a long trade when the price broke the trigger line of the pattern. I measured the size of the pattern with this rectangle over here. And then I applied it starting from the moment of the breakout, which was the reason to place my target at 1.6933. So, thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.